Nowadays, our dharma has spilled into the streets. Politicians have overtook the dharma establishment. Temple money is going to state's coffers. Dharma leaders not standing up against the state. Politicians and pressure groups. Everyone who can harm the dharma values are doing it without any reasons. Who is Dharma leaders? Term is undefined. It is Brahmin caste and class. Whether it is temple priest, whether Dharma mods, whether Dharma preachers. Who is the Dharma leaders? No one. It is up to we individuals who has realized the goddess, we have to assume the dharma leadership. The state is regulating the dharma, dharma institutions. State is reinforcing the politics, secularism, casteism, which are harmful for Hindu society. Donations money slips off to government and charities which are not benefiting the donors communities thus it is not helping cycle of dharma growth thus dharma is weak from inside is its member are not in unison to protect themselves our traditions are being trampled on and external arabic mediterranean force is increasing our numbers are dwindling due to conversion aging low birth rate holocaust we need the remedy which can be acceptable to all and does not harm the core values of life, dharma and state. For this, we need to reinvent. We need to accept that there is problem created by others due to policies, act of state due to disheartening of political bosses. So, we are having four facet problems first from internal it affects people dharma tradition customs livelihood ways of life second from others whose behavior tradition is annihilation of our life affecting our livelihood residence using of natural resources and harming our culture state which is hindering our dharma practices and has resource agencies to seriously harm the individual small groups all society through their various coercive persuasive behavior modification programs for the biggest enemy of dharma is political bosses they are in class themselves they can be silenced only through physical harm and loss. Losing the state power is their biggest nightmare. In our constitutional democracy, they are main culprit as they can influence last, second and third. If pampered well, they can be assets, they can change loads of things for us. But we need to pressure them, their action and inaction harms us. Our biggest barrier is solving the problem is that we are not able to communicate literally and figuratively also. No single Hindu can communicate in native language to other parts of India. They need a binding language, English, which northerners dislike to speak and insist on Hindi only, southerners insist of English and dislike Hindi speaking. Everybody is adamant on it. I say we stick to English as far as our expression is a standard form. After language, we have no mechanism or protocol to talk, speak up, stand down and listen, discuss and arrive at workable practical solutions. 
we get to devise this methodology to reduce conflict during representing the ideas to each others now what to talk on <coughs> and said traditions dharma people's quality no sir big no we need to control the number 4 then throw it number 3 so our dharma survives we as a culture survives it's a simple goal <coughs> what we are today our loyalties are with rashtra rajya rajya purusha dharma purusha but i say we put our loyalties in our self <coughs> to save our selves we have to create a minimum social cultural benchmark and give that to politicians for example in ram temple we say we want ram temple that was the benchmark and all had to agree to it we are fragmented due to politics and political gains we need to defragment and so unity for purpose of saving our existence except that our existence is a challenge stop losing hold of government executive agencies we need to change laws which are against dharma taking of temple money and managing temple we must be allowed to preach our dharma in my humble opinion ka protection sanskrit language etc is not a dharma task vegetarianism is not a dharma task funding temples and brahmins are not the dharma then what is dharma saving hindu peoples and their faith our members our numbers are decreasing our faith in traditions are decreasing and in name of secularism states politicians and other eating us out as a brahmin kshatriya vishya sudra we cannot survive no is a group even the united group of brahmin plus kshatriya etc cannot solve it high caste kshatriya brahmin have lost their natural leadership in 1947 itself is they no longer own the state they gave up rajya shakti and they no longer a rajya purusha there was the big protection to the dharma in this democracy they should stand down and be one of us we need no group we don't have to unite the groups we cannot be one big entity of 100 crores is a fact but we all can agree on saving ourselves and for that devise a new technique methods new benchmarks which everyone follows and expects and mandates the number 4 politicians to abide by it let's start thinking compiling comparing exchanging no idea is small big or true we do not vouch for truth but its effectiveness discuss in group spread it improve it before it's too late our last date is 2024 understand these thing from heart the power source of all groups say state political parties society family religion is the peoples individual peoples who give up a bit to gain something proposed theories based on existential challenges